I miss you so much, my sweet wife. Are you ready to have a baby? Of course not. It looks like you've gotten fatter. I don't think I'm getting fatter. But honey, you know I can't go to the gym like I used to. I've been working overtime at the hospital. Well, can't you work out before you go to the hospital? Maybe you can lift one of those cancer patients and use them as weights. How can you say something like that? Those are human beings. Besides, I told you I'm not working with cancer patients anymore. I am now working on COVID cases because the hospital staff has been so overwhelmed. And those people need all the time that I can give them. I care less about these COVID people. They all could just die if it were up to me. This is just like the flu, but people are overreacting. And wasn't it you that said it's all the fat people that are dying? It's a service to society if you ask me. No, that's not what I said and you know it. What I said was that people with pre-existing conditions are getting hit the hardest. Because their bodies are under so much strain. By the way, aren't your parents seriously overweight? Yes, they are overweight. And I pray that they get COVID-19 and die off faster and they just give me my inheritance. I'm just so sick of going to their birthday parties every year. Honey, sometimes when you talk like that, I don't know if you actually mean it or if it's just stress or something. I have an idea. Why don't you let the good doctor take some of that stress away for you? I'm not in the mood, Marcus. Are you sure? It's been about six months since we made love. Go away now. I already told you I'm not in the mood. Okay, okay. I am sorry. You know I respect you and your body. I'll just wait until you're in the mood. Well, you will wait a very long time. Oh my God. Honey, I'm so sorry. I have to get back to the hospital as soon as possible. They bring in a whole busload of kids with COVID-19 from an orphanage. As Marcus prepared to go back to the hospital, Sarah also prepared to buy messaging men on Tinder and telling them to come over to the house. What Marcus didn't know was that every night when he was at work, Sarah would have a new guy from Tinder and they will make love together. 30 minutes later. Here we go. 30th guy this month. One more man and I will beat my record. Sarah? Black Johnson. Well, that was racist. But since I'm going to punish you really hard, I'll let it happen. While Sarah and Johnson were in bed, Marcus was on his way back from the hospital. Doctors from all over the city had shown up to help, and they no longer needed Marcus. Honey, I'm home. I bought you some of your favorite chocolates. I know you probably haven't had them in a while since you've been on a diet. Sorry, brother. She already got enough chocolate for the whole year. Sarah? Oh my God, what are you doing? Don't you realize what I'm doing, Marcus? I'm making love with a man who goes to the gym and doesn't always work. But I love you with all my heart. Do you remember our marriage vows? For the good times and the bad. It's okay, we can go to counseling. We could still work this out. Look, Marcus, Johnson trained me all night tonight. 
Besides, I don't love you, okay? I just wanted the attention and gifts that come with weddings. You are getting old and cannot satisfy my sexual desires. You like to spend most of your time with your patients in the hospital. Besides, you were fit when I met you. Now look at you, fat as a pig. You become disgusting. You don't deserve a beautiful woman like me now. But I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. Please don't leave me. Goodbye, Marcus. You can now live in the hospital all the time. Sarah packed her things and went with Johnson. After three months of working on himself, Marcus was able to get his life back on track. He even got a promotion at the hospital and became one of their top doctors. He started working out and getting in shape. Meanwhile, things weren't looking so great for Sarah. She later discovered that Johnson didn't have a job. Sarah also found out that Johnson only goes to the gym and takes steroids. He would come home from the gym and then abuse her. Three months later. Sarah? That's a surprise. How's it going with Johnson? Well, Johnson is a gym freak. That's all he thinks about. We can't talk about anything else. And he treated me like garbage, so I had to leave him. Oh, I'm glad you dare to stand up for yourself and find a better life. Yes, exactly. And who else could give me a better life than you? You are my husband and my favorite doctor in the world. Honestly, I'm your ex-husband. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I've started a new life. I finally learned how to respect and value myself. And I could never be with someone like you. Besides, I've got somebody new now. And she loves me for who I am and not for what my abs look like. You don't deserve a loyal man like me now. <coughs> but Marcus, I love you. You should probably get that cough checked out. It could be COVID. Goodbye, Sarah. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more likes in the future.